Page 64 My Elder Brother This short play is about two brothers who are affectionate and respectful to each other. The story also shows that learning from our day-to-day -day experiences is as important as what we learn from books in the school. This play is based on the famous story in Hindi, Bade Bhai Sahab, written by Munshi Premchand. Page 65 Scene 1 A hostel room Two brothers, aged 9 and 14 years, sitting at a study table. The elder brother, Bhaiya, is reading a book. And the younger one, Munna, is drawing pictures of birds and animals. What are you doing, Munna? I'm drawing. When will you study? Where were you in the morning? I was playing, Bhaiya. How can you sit with a book for hours together? That's because I want my foundation in education to be very strong. If the base is strong, then the building will stand firmly. Sometimes it takes me two years to do one year's work. Bhaiya, you are five years older than I am and three classes ahead of me. I wonder why you keep writing the same word 20 times. One sentence more than 20 times and copy poems several times in beautiful letters. <laughs> you know, studying English is no child's play. One has to work very hard in order to learn the subject. To speak or write English properly, tremendous effort is required. But the moment you get a chance, you run to the field, play marbles and fly paper kites or sit idling away with friends for fun. Can't you sit down and study? Page 66 Oh, Bhaiya, there is a big mela in the village today. Should we go? Have you ever seen me going to a fair or going to watch a cricket or hockey match? I don't go near them. I prefer to study a book. I don't mind repeating a class for more than two years. But you might stay in the same class all your life. Do you expect to pass if you waste your time playing all the time? You are simply wasting father's hard-earned money. Bhaiya, I feel like running away and going back home. Now, now, stop crying. <laughs> now, put on a nice smile. Look, I will make a timetable for you to follow. Hmm? Get up at dawn. Time. Schedule. 6 a.m. Wash your hands. Hmm. Have your breakfast and sit down to study. Hmm. 6 to 8 a.m. English. 8 to 9 a.m. Maths. Okay. 9 to 9.30 a.m. History. Hmm. 3.30 p.m. Then off to school. 5 to 6 p.m. Grammar. Hmm? Half an hour for strolling. 6.30 to 7 p.m. English composition. <gasps> then dinner. Hmm. 8 to 9 p.m. translation. 9 to 10 p.m. Hindi. Hmm. 10 to 11 p.m. other subjects. And then to bed. Huh? But when is the time to play? Play? What is the need, Munna? Oh, I love the green fields, Bhaiya. The gentle breeze. I want to jump up like a football. Oh. I like the touch and go and hututu sounds of the kabaddi. <laughs> and the hurry and flurry of volleyball pulls me like a magnet. As soon as I am on the field, I forget everything. Scene 2. The final exams are over and the results are out. Alas, 
I have failed once again. Oh, but Bhaiya, I have passed and topped my class. Now there is only two years difference between us. <laughs> but my dear brother, don't be so proud. Hmm? You have passed only one class, and you think that I am stupid, and you are smart. Hmm? Once in a while, in a gully danda game. You might get lucky and hit a goal, but that does not mean you have mastered the game. Page sixty-eight. You have to work hard to be successful in life. When you have to study a subject like algebra or geometry in higher classes, then you will understand the importance of hard work. In geometry, if one writes A C B instead of A B C. The answer is marked wrong. The examiners will not spare you. They want you to learn word by word from the textbooks. <sighs> oh, bhai sab, this is scary. Hmm. I don't think I want to go to the ninth class now. <laughs> But I will still complete my day's homework so that I get no punishment in class. Hmm. Just today, we were asked to write a short essay on the topic of punctuality in four pages. And imagine, can something be written on four pages and still be short? <laughs> It's all so mixed up. Oh, thank God! It was time for school, or else the scolding would have gone on and on. Scene three. The results were out once again, and it so happened that Munna passed and Bhaiya failed again. Bhaiya was really upset. Munna was also sad, seeing his brother so unhappy. Bhaiya now becomes gentler with Munna. Munna became naughtier because of this, and studied even less than before. Ah, I'm lucky. I can pass easily. I need not study so hard. Oof. Now I can play games with my friends and fly kites. Oof. But I should still be careful that Bhaiya does not see me flying kites. One day, a kite is flying slowly downwards. Munna starts running in order to grab it. Suddenly. He comes face to face with Bhaiya. Page sixty-nine. Ah, ah. Oh, aren't you ashamed to be flying kites all day long? <laughs> Don't you realize that now you are in the eighth class mm. and are not studying in a lower class? Mm. If you think that I am just one class ahead of you and I can't say anything, you are wrong. I am five years older than you are, mm. and will always be. Understanding doesn't come only from reading books, okay? Yeah. Look at mine, Baba. Ma has never gone to school, and Baba has only passed fifth class. Really, Bhaiya? Is that true? Page seventy. Yes, there are a thousand things that they know more than you or me. <gasps> And even if we have studied the wisdom of the whole world, mm. Ma and Baba will always have the right to explain to us and correct us. Right. Now, what would you do if I were to fall sick today? I don't know, Bhaiya. Huh? I would tell Baba, and he would rush to the hostel. Aha! I had expected this answer. <laughs> Now, Baba would not get upset. He would first try to find out what was wrong, and then he would call a doctor. Mm. Baba would know exactly what to do. They have more experience than us. <laughs> Bhaiya, I'm sorry. What you say is true. <laughs> <laughs> I also like to play and fly kites, mm. but if I also play, then. How can I watch out for you? You are my responsibility. I love you, Bhaiya. <laughs> Munna. <laughs> New words: foundation, solid base, schedule. Here, timetable, essay.
composition on any subject, idling, without any purpose, lazy, mastered, gained expertise, skilled. Page 71. Reading is fun. 1. What are the things that Munna liked to do? 2. What did Bhaiya do all day? 3. Why was Munna not happy with the timetable that Bhaiya made for him? 4. How do you think Munna felt when his brother was so strict with him? Why was Bhaiya so strict with him? 5. Whose character do you like more? Munna's or Bhaiya's? Why? Let's talk. 1. Do you have a timetable at school? How many periods are there for the following subjects and activities in one week? English Hindi Maths Science Social Studies Games Art Craft Music Dance Any other activity? 2. Now make a timetable for yourself including your study time and your play time. The space is provided below. Page 72 Creative Writing The format of a letter is given to you. Letters to friends and close family are written in the same way as you speak to them. Writer's Address Krishna Boys Hostel Model Public School Kolkata 10th July 2000 Date 10th July 2000 Greeting My dear Ma Introduction This is my first letter after the summer vacations. We started our classes the day after we reached the hostel. I have settled in well. Body We have a new teacher for clay modelling and pottery. She tells us how to make fruits and vegetables with clay. We then paint them. They look so real. Ending We have an inter-house poetry recitation coming up in August. I am really excited about it. It is a long poem, but we learn it together with our teacher. It is nice to be back in school with my friends and teachers. I remember you and Baba a lot. Give my love to Grandmother and Grandfather. Closing. Do write back soon. Your loving son, Pratap. Page 73 1. After reading the letter, answer the following questions. 1. Who has written the letter? Blank. 2. To whom has the letter been written? Blank. 3. Where is the writer of the letter? Blank. 4. What is the name of his hostel? Blank. 5. On which date was this letter written? Blank. 2. Now, write a letter to your friend or relative in another city, telling him or her about activities or events in your school. Follow the same pattern as the above letter. The space is being provided to you. Page 74 Comprehension Read the following passage and answer the questions that follow. Oliver was a nine-year-old boy. He lived with other homeless boys in an orphanage. He was pale and thin, as were the other boys living there. This was because they had to work hard but were never given enough to eat. The owner of the orphanage, Mr. Bumble, was a cruel man and he ill-treated the boys. The boys were always hungry. It was true that they were given three meals a day, but each meal consisted only of a bowl of watery soup. They were almost starving. So it was decided by them to ask the master for more soup. But who would bell the cat? Finally, the task fell to Oliver. Finally, the task fell 
to Oliver. When all the boys had assembled in the cold stone hall for their evening meal, the soup was served. It soon disappeared. The boys whispered to one another, and one boy pushed Oliver a little. Oliver, making a brave effort, stood up, walked up to the master with his bowl and spoon in his hand, and said tremblingly, Please, sir, I want some more. 1. Why did Oliver live in the orphanage? 2. Who was Mr. Bumble? 3. What meals were the boys given? 4. What did Oliver say to Mr. Bumble? 5. The boys were given three meals a day. Then why were they always hungry? 1. Because the soup they were given was never enough. 2. Because they worked very hard all day long. 3. Because the older boys drank up their soup. Page 75 6. Find the words from the passage that mean the same as 1. Very hungry Para 2. Blank 2. To vanish Para 3. Blank 7. All the boys assembled in the cold stone hall. Here, the word assembled means 1. Moved away 2. Collected 3. Worked together 8. From the word assembled, remove the last two letters. Add one letter to make a word which means a time at the school when the whole school gathers. Assem blank. 9. Give a suitable title to the passage. The space is provided. Let's write. 1. To learn means to understand or to gain knowledge. To teach means to show how or to explain. Complete the following sentences using the correct form of teach or learn. Learn. Learns. Learned. Has learned. Teach. Teaches. Taught. Has taught. 1. Will you blank me chess? 2. Mr. Sharma blank class 8. 3. The students have blank about road safety. 4. My sister has blank me how to ride a horse. 5. I have blank some of the customs of India. 6. I blank how to cycle when I was just four years old. Page 76 2. Choose the correct word and complete the paragraph. All the class 5 students of our school blank were was gathering in front of the principal's office. They blank were was going for the inter-school race. The bus, blank, arrive, arrived, and they, blank, leave, left for the stadium. The runners were, blank, taking, taken to the starting point. The runners, blank, take, took their positions. Sir, blank, blow, blew the whistle. One student of our school, blank, run, ran, fast, and blank, come, came, first. Everyone, blank, do, did, their best, and our school, blank, won, wins, the trophy. Everyone, blank, feel, felt. Joyous. 3. Read the following sentences. Bhaiya has been studying in the same class 
for two years, for a period of time. Munna was flying kites since morning, from a time in the past till the present. Fill in the blanks using for or since. 1. I have lived in this house blank. I was a baby. 2. This big jar has been in our family blank many years. 3. The old banyan tree in the village has been there blank the last 200 years. 4. Nobody has seen him blank yesterday. Project work. Choose a story that you like. In groups of four, write down dialogues for the story and make it into a short play. You may then present it in the class.